Now Fox 61's week of day tripping around Connecticut continues. Keith McGilvery and Margot Farrell are on the road again. Yeah, this morning they're at the Essex steam train. Joining us now, Keith, Margot, good morning. I thought you were going to be on the train. The train. Yeah. Yeah, you You're on the it. rails itself. You know <laughs> You know, Ashley and Tim, I thought with the forecast, we might be in the train, but here we are, rain or shine. Carmen behind me with Keith telling me here at Essex steam train and here on the rail bikes, it doesn't matter if it's rain or shine or snow. Nope, never. People still come. Carmen, I have never even seen this before. What are we on? How does this work? Well, it's a rail bike. Um, you know, most people think that you need to just go on a train to ride the rails, but that's not the case. Um, you could be right here at the Essex steam train and you could uh, be learning all about the bumps, the little hills, um, whether you're on a train or on a rail bike. And this is awesome because families can experience this. So you have to be at least eight years old. And what was the height requirement? Four feet? Four feet. Okay, so Keith and I cleared that. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's something that families can enjoy. And what do you see as the reaction when they come here? Uh, Keith said it best earlier with his nephew and his niece. Kids love trains. Yeah, I mean, this is something that's, you know, it, it's definitely, it helped us in 2020 when we, uh, when we were dealing with the pandemic. Um, and it's here to stay. Uh, people are shocked at this, really. Who would have thought you don't need balance to uh, to ride one of these things? Better than yesterday with the roller skating, that's for sure. <laughs> I was going to say, our photographer, Freddie, is doing great with balance. Okay, so let's talk logistics here. It's $75 if you want to rent a two-seater, yep. $125 for the four-seater, and you are going for an eight-mile ride. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it seems long, but it's really not that bad. Uh, it's actually a really great uh, experience to, uh, to go out, see nature um, all over from our runs to Saybrook. I love this. And it's what's so great, like you said, with COVID, it's something that you're able to do outside. And uh, really, oh, there goes my phone. Okay, we'll have to go back and get that. Uh, so really, it's something you can do any season, any type of year. And something, you know, we do the Connecticut bucket list for each month and uh, season. And I think this is really kind of year round. It is. Um, we had we did a, a small uh, session of snow bikes this year. And believe it or not, uh, people still came. <laughs> well, Margaret Farrell has lost not one, but two cell phones on this ride already. The other one? Thursday, oh. Friday, Saturday, you folks are open for now, and that's going to expand as the weather gets nicer. Absolutely. Uh, July and August will be open Thursday through Monday with our steam train and boat excursions, dinner trains, and just what we're riding today, rail bikes. All right. Well, Carmen has a great <laughs> spot we're checking out next. We're riding this much further down the rails, but for now, I'm kicking I'm my feet up. Every pedaling per usual from Margo <laughs> Farrell. Fox He's going to go find my news. phone, too. Fox All right, pedal phones. Phones, oh. plural. He said, as pedal, usual, pedal, because a couple pedal. of days ago when they were at Quasi on a water boat, Margo had her feet up just having the time of her life. Like the Keith Queen was... of England there. <laughs> wave, Margo. <laughs> yes, with that kind of wave. All right, still to come on the uh, Fox 61.